Hello, everybody. Today is Thursday, February 2nd. It's 4.08 p.m., about eight minutes after the regular session close, and we have another video update for you featuring the BWT Precision Auto Trader. On my left here is the time and sale showing the E-mini S&P trading at about 22.76 at just turned 4.09 p.m. So once again, our videos are recorded in real time, never a market replay. Before I go any further, first the required disclaimer. Okay, another pretty good day for the auto trader today. Once again, we are featuring the DAX is our big winner of the day. And the DAX being one of the most volatile markets often has the most extreme moves. Uh, today, the 34-second line break, uh, you can see some really f great trades here uh, on the line break chart. Just to explain for a minute exactly what a line break chart is, is the auto trader has a line break algorithm, which basically automates the rules of a line break chart. So a line break chart the lines are actually bars, so so these bars here are referred to as lines and vice versa. So the rule for line break is a close above three bars back, or you could set it to two bars back. So when you set up a line break chart, you can choose uh, whether you want seconds, minutes, or ticks. So the line break logic could be applied to any time frame. So uh, in this case, we're choosing three line breaks and we're using a 34 second line break chart. And so that's, this is what that looks like. So basically this bar for a long closed above three bars back and we got a blue bar. Okay, line break bars have no tails. So that's why we can get filled on a limit order and it looks like blank space because there's no tails, uh, the, the rule for, for our, our fill is the close of the bar minus five ticks. So what you see here is on the short, we have the close of the bar here minus five ticks. So you can see it's uh, 640.5 and then uh, 43. So that's probably five ticks there as the DAX is two ticks per point. So same here, uh, we got filled on our limit order and, and it looks like blank space because again, <clears throat> there's no tails on a line break chart. So this, this is some pretty fantastic trades here. Uh, so for line break, again, you, you select the number of line breaks. It could be four line breaks, so you could have a smoother chart. In addition, uh, when we trade a line break chart, we can use the sensitivity of the trend logic in the auto trader to uh, filter some of the line break trades. So, um, for example, uh, I could make these bars red by uh, choosing a little bit higher sensitivity. So just wanted to give a little explanation about what line break is. If I uh, tighten up the equity graph here, we can see our equity from the beginning. We, we start at zero equity every day. We only took some heat or a drawdown of about $200. That's um, very, very minimal for the DAX. And then we went up and pulled back a little bit. And then uh, we had a couple of really big trades here this long and uh, actually profitable on these two moves here and then the short and we we hit our goal here of 1950. okay next up is the dow e-mini contract and pretty spectacular performance here if you're looking at these uh, swings here this is pretty impressive to catch uh, four swings in a, in a row of this size, and you see our equity curve just kind of straight up. So uh, we took some heat on this for sure. Uh, we drew down about $800 in all this kind of noisy action, but 
what this shows is the resiliency of the auto trader to come back from the dead sometimes um, to recover from a drawdown like that uh, in a, such a strong way. When the big moves come, the auto trader doesn't miss the good moves. So the ability to bounce back to a, a solid profitable day from that kind of drawdown is pretty impressive. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on the three range chart. And this starts trading at about 10 o'clock. So we had a very small loser here, only about a tick or two. And uh, we had two fantastic trades. We caught the short here at 11, 11 in the morning and then followed by a long. And that brought us into uh, probably hit our daily goal and had a tick of slippage on two contracts or three contracts. So uh, pretty impressive. Now, <clears throat> this has had kind of mixed performance over the last week. The last couple of days, um, it got stopped out. It hit its loss limit. And then prior to that, we had a couple of good winning days. So um, I haven't really tweaked this chart. I just threw some settings up here. Um, but this is a pretty good setup here. If you were actually going to trade this for yourself, probably want to spend a little time just slightly tweaking the settings and observing um, how this acts because usually when it does um, get stopped out or hit its loss limit it it usually uh, has some gains at some point so uh, it would be worth to invest a little time to kind of optimize your settings on this chart I do not really optimize my settings on any of the charts I I show I have come up with settings that are pretty good but I really haven't fine-tuned them and once again I do that to uh, show what the system's capable of without over tweaking the parameters okay I've tightened up the chart on the gold contract on the Superinco six tick and we didn't take any heat we made an equity high of about a thousand dollars uh, gave a little back and then we settled at uh, 860 profit for the day and you can see the trades here uh, actually a pretty decent performance number of winners and then a uh, little whipsaw here and then we gained most of it back with the winner at the end so again a uh, pretty good performance on the goal the e-mini S&P on the Superinco 12 tick uh, this is I think the third day in a row that we've showed positive gains here, a very modest gain on a single trade. This is a pretty large time frame, eliminate, eliminating a lot of noise here, but nevertheless, uh, another profitable day for this chart. Okay, next up is the Dow e mini contract on the Superenco 10 tick. We've seen this chart lately quite a bit. Uh, we had a little bit of drawdown off the open about two hundred and fifty dollars or so a couple of small losers this is using our line break logic on a superenco chart and then we were followed by three pretty nice winners here it brought us up to an equity high of about 750 and then we gave some back with three losers at the end and we settled at 490 Okay, the crude oil on a 34 second line break chart only had two trades, uh, a really nice winner here. And it looks like we had a very small winner right here and then a loser at the end and we settled at 390. So only three trades, uh, actually four trades. There was another small loser here. five trades so pretty decent day uh, once again showing that line break uh, trading logic unique to BWT in as far as that we automate it and we have an indicator for it uh, is unique to, to blue wave trading okay next up is the crude oil on the Superenco six tick 
So kind of a mixed bag of trades here. We we drew down almost $300 and then uh, came back with a couple of winners at the end here to close at plus 200. That's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website at blueavetrading.com or shoot us an email to systems at blueavetrading.com. Thank you for watching today.